What's up, Crypto Legends? The price of Bitcoin had a major rally in the last 24 hours, bouncing from the $26,600 range, which was the monthly point of control here from September. We had that high volume node that was acting as support a few days ago and got this major rally. Is this pump sustainable? Is this bump and run scenario going to continue and we're going to see higher levels? We're going to talk about this on the lower time frames. If we do manage to break above $28,600, this high here from the 2nd of October, then of course we are taking a look at the next levels of a potential rejection, guys, which is round about the $29,000 range because of this consolidation right over here. We'll be zooming in on the lower time frames to understand why the price is rejecting here, what are the major support levels that we need to pay attention in the next coming hours guys so make sure to stay tuned Hi there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode. Let's dive in, guys. Let's talk about this major bounce that we did have here at 26,600. Understand why this was a massive support level. Before we go through the major levels, guys, quick reminder, Mexi, the platform that I am trading at this moment with the lowest fees out there, 0.01 on take a fee. They have the lowest fees on all of the exchanges out there available, guys. Check it out. You get $20,000 worth of bonus with the link in the description. We'll be talking about this setup or scenario that we talked about also on the latest video, guys. But first of all, let's go through here. Why did the price of Bitcoin bounce here at this level very nicely? Well, we do know that it was the September point of control. When we do take a look at the September price action, that point of control was at $26,580 approximately, getting that really nice bounce. We also had a pretty nice Gartley pattern. We did talk about this Gartley pattern here in the legends community it was very nicely respected here at the 78 fibonacci we can see from x to a to b right there hitting almost the 618 the rally to the 78 and then back down to the 78 fibonacci as you can see on the chart something interesting about this gartley pattern it was a one-to-one -one fibonacci time extension okay you can see here from the pivot low to the b point sorry let me just get the tool right there from the low point here to this B point, we can see that one-to-one -one extension, right? As you can see here, the Gartley pattern formation. It was the one-to-one -one extension here, as you can see, on the 12th of October, meaning that that corrective move was finished to get that rally. Pretty impressive here how also, you know, it was in confluence, a Gartley pattern with the point of control from September here, as you can see right there, bouncing exactly at that level. And also, we have lower high resistance from the bump and run pattern, guys. You can see just slightly tapping that zone. We also had a lower high resistance right over here from this pivot high to this lower high, bouncing here very, very nicely, holding that range for this major rally. Now, that was basically the support, also the reason of this rally. I was not expecting such a severe rally, got to be honest there. So what we need to understand here is, are we going to create another lower high at this point and start correcting aggressively? I mean, no doubt that the volume is huge on the lower time frames, and this could get a little bit more impulsive. So your question is, is it going to be bullish as soon as we break above this high of 28,600? Now, there is a chance that we're probably not even going to reach there. However, it's looking quite good. There is some quite nice bullish volume here and the price action is very aggressive to the upside and we don't want to fight the trend. We'll be explaining also on lower time frames why this level is getting rejected from this point and what we need to look at. What are the most important levels out of this zone to take a look at a, at a potential bounce or a potential rejection, most importantly, to get ready for our next higher time frame trading setup. Now, let me under, let make you understand, this high over here is very important, $28,600. If we do manage successfully to get above this level, what is the next resistance zone? Now, of course, we could create a double top, a swing failure pattern right over here, and then have a corrective move. So we need to be paying attention to that level once we hit it, set those alerts. And if it does reject, of course, we could be creating that double top and start correcting here very aggressively. This being a more complex of a corrective move here in five waves, more in a kind of a diagonal scenario. So yes, that is definitely possible. However, if we do get above this level, what is the next level to pay attention? Where is the level where we could reject very aggressively? And that's 
comes with this price action right over here. When we do take a look at the volume profile, the reason why we need to be a little bit careful here for a possible double top and speculate that we are going to reject from this level is that there's hardly any volume here in until $29,200 basically, as you can see here on the chart. So there's a big gap in volume. If this level does not reject, we could have an easy pump of five to $600 even more, okay, after blasting through this level. So we have to be extremely cautious trying to short here a possible double top. Unless we do have a very clear rejection move, I will only be shorting the rejection, not fighting the pump, guys, because I don't know if the pump will manage to stop at this important resistance zone. It might continue and create a new yearly high, right? It's very unlikely, but we never know. This is why we, we do defensive trading. Now, the 29,200 to 400 range, why is it so important? Apart from this high volume node, we do have the value area low of this consolidation that we had in between June and August. That value area low of this trading range is sitting at $29,400. Whereas, you know, it's very close to this point of control zone, right? This high volume node. Now, what else of a level is this? If we do take a look at Fibonacci from the yearly high, to the pivot low here created on most of the on all of the spot exchanges basically we have the 618 fibonacci also at the 29300 to 400 range 61865 in confluence with the value area low of this trading zone and there's a high volume node here on the volume profile as you can see so we need to be paying close attention to that zone it's definitely a level where we could reject however how can I short it if we start pumping through that level and I put a limit order here? You know, the price might continue to the upside. Well, the best deal here is be patient and check the reaction. We could reject here once and then create a kind of internal double top on lower time frames, such as the 15 minute or the one hourly time frame, right? This is what we would want to see here. The price getting exhausted, creating that, you know, test of the tops and getting the rejection. That is the moment that we know that we could step into that long. If we blast through this level, guys, the next level of high confluence, you can see it here on the chart. It is the 7-8 Fibonacci from the new yearly high, okay, from the yearly high to the pivot low. We have the 7-8 where we also have a high volume node, which is basically the point of control from the price action in between June and July, okay? Also part of August. So we have a lot of price action right there that has this high volume node. We know that these high volume nodes are very respected on the chart, guys. We can see September volume node getting respected very nicely a few days ago, exactly at $26,600. These high volume nodes are very strong support or resistance. So we need to be paying attention to this one right over here, which is at $30,300. Now, something interesting, we've got a series of lower highs over here, as you can see on the chart, which could be a liquidity grab in confluence with the point of control and the 7-8 Fibonacci. We love 7-8 Fibonacci as well, guys. If we do take a look at this pivot low over here to the pivot high, the 7.8 Fibonacci was in confluence with that point of control. So we got another one right here from this pivot high to the pivot low, 7.8 and point of control. And we've got a series of lower highs right there that we could actually claim that liquidity grab and get a pretty decent corrective move of several hundred dollars, guys. Those levels are very important on the higher time frame. Just a quick reminder, just in case we start blasting through this zone, you want to be paying attention to this consolidation. One that I will I will likely see as a rejection is this level, guys, 30,200 to 300 zone. I think that if we do hit that level and start rejecting here on the first attempt, it will be a great shorting opportunity. Only if the price rejects, that is when we jump in. We do not jump in as the price is moving above the level, guys, because we do not know how powerful the pump can be only on the rejections remember very important so those are the levels on higher time flame as resistance guys uh we got them all of them now what is the levels as support what if the price does come to lower levels right there now the reason of this huge major resistance at twenty-eight thousand dollars, slightly below is because of the price action that we had here during october we can see this large consolidation the value area high of this consolidation is right over here at twenty-eight thousand dollars, slightly below twenty-seven thousand nine hundred. we can see there's a high volume node also there this is where the price is getting that rejection so you know this was a 
acceptable short position. It was not easy to get into, of course. There is a possibility internally here creating a double top scenario. That is definitely a possibility as well. Not managing to break above $28,000. So I would be willing to, you know, potentially short that range if we were to create here a move to the upside and reject because that could create an internal double top structure right there with a swing failure pattern and that get a pretty decent corrective move. If that does not happen here internally, well, the level that I'm looking at is 27,500 to 400 range where we do have that high volume node. It is basically that point of control from the 1st of October till the 11th of October. And we would have to see a very clear reaction at that zone because this is the kind of pump that everybody gets bullish and looks for a retracement to get into a long position. But then the price does not get a huge major reaction at certain levels and starts dropping aggressively and eats up all of the big major pump guys we need to be very cautious with this scenario as we correct the ideal scenario of course would be hitting that level getting a reaction and creating a kind of a double bottom you know or basically a consolidation seeing the level getting supported very nicely it is the value area low from this trading range and also point of control that is in between 27.3 and 27.4 k zone okay when we do take a look at fibonacci of course we've got the pivot low right there if this were to be the high well we haven't got much fibonacci 382 is at the point of control from this zone 50 percent is slightly beneath the valley area low if we do take a look at the start of this major rally which could basically be round about this zone here after this consolidation well basically the 618 fibonacci is also beneath here this the the valley area low there's no major clear pivots to take a look at here from this start of this major rally i would go with the pivot low here from the bottom at 26,550 to the high and then we got some clear fibonacci levels 382 and 50% here in confluence with the point of control of this zone and the value area low a zone where i would expect the price to get a reaction and we could see a consolidation here for a potential pump something very similar that what happened right over here if we do start holding the zone we could be looking for some long in opportunities of course on the lower time frames i will be updating the legends community to see if we do see any scalping day trading opportunities inside of this area during the next 24 hours of course if you want to join the legends you do have the link down below in the description okay legends trading community on discord where i provide setups and analysis every single day looking at very low time frames as well mexi guys trading platform that i'm using at the moment i had a great week last week shared with the community let's see if this week we're going to crush it as well managing to get 10 or maybe even 15 percent gains from our trading capital thank you everyone and i'll see you in the next one